Hi everyone. This video will be on the threading of the American Model 1 sewing machine by the American uh, Buttonhole and Overseaming Sewing Machine Company. Um, this machine dates to approximately 1873 and is kind of a unique machine um, in that it uses uh, little teeny round bobbins. I'll show you here. And comparing that to the size of a standard 66, class 66 bobbin, this is quite small. But even more unique, this particular machine carries that bobbin in a shuttle, which almost looks like a vibrating shuttle machine, but it's a little bit different. To remove the shuttle from the machine, there's an arm that slides over the shuttle carrier to hold it in place, and you slide that back and then lift the shuttle out. It's a very fascinating little shuttle. On the shuttle to remove the bobbin, there's an arm that you would lift out of the place and allows the bobbin to drop out. We're going to start off by winding this little teeny bobbin. The bobbin winder is located on the back and swings down to connect with the wheel. So we put that on. In this particular machine I actually am able to use standard size 15 by 1 needles in here and in doing so I get a little bit of um, a little bit of interference if I'm winding bobbins with the shank of the needle and the presser foot so I actually just put the foot down to get it out of the way. So to wind the bobbin on this particular machine we're going to Get it started here and bring it back to put it on the bobbin winder. And it's fairly easy at this point. This one, the wheel actually moves away from you. So there's no way to disengage the needle. So we'll just have to do this. it's guided just by hand and by sight. You just kind of determine back to back how to wind it on there evenly. So once the bobbin is done being wound, we're going to go ahead and put it in the shuttle. This particular shuttle, would you look up real close, has a tension piece in here and it is adjusted by the screw on top. So I let the thread come out so that it is hanging down and I place it into the shuttle and it comes down and this particular one comes underneath a very small arm in there and then it's pulled back up through and creates the tension. You close the arm and the thread comes off the top. So to load that into the machine, we're going to lift the foot, bring the needle up out of the way slide that open and moving the carrier all the way down to the furthermost point here in the front it goes down nose first the arm comes back over and the slide plate goes back on and I leave it open until I pull that up. To thread the machine we start up here at the spool pin this one's fairly simple it goes through the first thread guide it goes over the tension wheel between the discs and the tension is adjusted by a roller here. So if you roll it one way it will tighten, the other way it will loosen the tension discs here. It comes down through this guide up through the take up arm and in this particular machine there actually is a thread guide right here but unfortunately on mine it's actually busted off so I don't have the use of this particular thread guide but I have found that it does not impact the sewing so if your machine does have that thread guide please go ahead and use it and then it threads from the outside to in. I had made mention that this particular machine 
Um, I like the fact that I have been able to use standard 15 by 1 needles on here, so as I'm working on projects, I don't have to worry about um, breaking a machine needle that's difficult to replace. So in this particular one, I scooch it down just a little bit so that it catches the um, so that it catches the lower thread. And once it does that, it's all set and we'll stitch nicely. I find this mechanism quite interesting is that it runs in an arc, vibrating shuttle style, running in an arc. The stitch length is set over here on the edge. You can see that little finger. You push it back and it makes it longer and you pull it forward it'll make it shorter. And there we go. And albeit loud, this one sews a particularly beautiful stitch. That can be seen there. Thank you.